Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, apologize for the state of this video. Basically, I'm filming it late at night, so the lighting might be a bit random. But yeah, anyways, I've been super busy lately, but I thought today I'd go ahead and make a video about public transport in Auckland um, and some tips and advice that I have for you guys. So, this could be helpful if you're coming to Auckland like as a tourist or you're moving here permanently. Um, and you know you're going to be using public transport or if you're just from here and you want to know a bit more these are some tips that I could help you as um, a public transport professional or as I like to think of myself anyway so first thing you're going to need um, is a hop card so basically it's a card um, that you have that you buy and then you top it up with money and you use it to tag on and tag off so that's how you pay for your like rides on the bus or rides on the train um, and the ferry as well. So yeah, technically you don't need one. It's not necessary because you can still pay in cash. However, I would highly recommend you get one of these um, because you're gonna save a lot of money because like the cash fares are often double the price. So for example, one trip could cost you $3.50 on a card and it'll cost you $7 if you pay cash. So yeah, it's obviously that this is the clear choice. Um, so the hop card is $10 and you can get it at all the major transport um, hubs. So if you're in the city like Britama, um most train stations will have a machine um, and yeah you can just look online there's a website um, I'll link it down below to find your nearest um, retailer where you can get one of these um, and then yeah topping it up so you can top it up um, um, either at like a retailer where you buy one of these um, or you can do it online so I tend to do it online because it's more convenient however um, it does take up sometimes up to three days I think for the money to come on so if your card balance is really really low and you know you're gonna need it um, I would suggest just going to like um, a major train station or something like that where there's you know there's a person and you can just top it up straight away because the money will come on um, because yeah I've been like in a situation where I topped up my car the night before and then I went in the morning to tag on and then um, my card had like no credit but luckily I just um, like the bus driver was nice and they let me on anyway, but yeah, um, I have learnt my lesson, so Yeah, make just make sure um, to check your balance and doesn't like go under like ten dollars, you know um, And yeah, all right, so with these cards um, the fare um, depends on where you're going and who you are because you can get student discounts and um, like you can get monthly passes and you can even, um, if you're over 65, it's actually free, um, I think for New Zealanders or something. But yeah, anyways, um, assuming you're not over 65 and retired, um, you will have to pay for the, um, the rides and de it depends on um, stages that you're going. So it's not necessarily based on distance or time because, for example, I could go somewhere um, it takes me an hour on the bus and it could cost me two dollars and then I could go to the city which takes me around an hour as well and it could cost me like four dollars so yeah it depends on how many stages that you're going um, and yeah obviously train prices and bus prices can differ so um, usually buses tend to be cheaper than trains because um, basically trains are like a lot more efficient um, obviously there's less train stations than bus stops um, so um, if you um, if you're going to like a major destination, um, I say major, I mean like if you're going to the city or something like that, um, it's probably better for you to take a train um, just because it's going to take less time and um, train, just they just tend to be um, a bit more comfortable since, you know, it's just like on a rail instead of going up and down and round curves and stuff constantly. Um, so yeah, but the downside of taking the train is that it smells really bad, <laughs> like um, it kind of depends, but the one I take, it just, yeah, it's not a good time. Um, and they tend to be, like, trains tend to run on time, although, um, that could be a con if you're running late, because it's not going to wait for you. Um, like, when the door's closed, the door's closed, and you're not going to be able to get in, whereas, you know, sometimes if a bus driver's nice and you, s you wave at them, they might stop, um, and, like, wait for you, but... Yeah, with the trains, you got to make sure that you're on time because they don't wait for anybody. Oh, also, um, you can get refunds if you check your balance and you think um, there's been a mistake or something, go online and get a refund. Um, and one really helpful thing that I have is the Auckland Transport app. So I'll open up on my phone and show you guys. 
but basically it just looks like this i don't know if it's gonna be able to focus but um yeah basically you can see like i don't know if it's gonna focus but basically you can see like maps and you can see um departure times and it tells you like the routes you can go and like the buses the times of the buses and things like that um so yeah it's really helpful um if you're just if you're like running late or something and you don't know if you're gonna make it in time you can see how far away the bus is um and it plans your routes for you as well um i think you can also use google maps but yeah i just prefer to use the auckland transport app so i highly recommend um you guys go ahead and download that um if you take the bus or train regularly um, I think there's just a few other things. Um, we do also have ferries as well in Auckland, but they're quite expensive, so normally people don't really take them um, unless you have like a monthly pass, um, like you commute every day for work or something, then it could make sense. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't really recommend going on ferries unless you're a tourist, um, then I guess it could be a good experience, you know, it's kind of like having a short cruise. Um, but yeah, they tend to be quite expensive, so I guess get more to tourists. Um, than just like everyday you know working people um but yeah that's about it really um i feel like i forgot something oh just some general like tips and advice so when you get off a bus always remember to say thank you it's kind of just like good manners and like for example if you know that you're gonna be riding all the way to the last stop then it's kind of nice to just to sit at the back or if there's like a bus with two levels just sit at the top um because it makes it easier for some people like elderly people or people that are you know less mobile um um, so they don't have to walk up the stairs or walk all the way to the back of the bus because it's all full. Um, so yeah, those are just some general courtesy tips, I guess. And always remember to tag on and to tag off. Um, and when you go to the train stations, um, the tag on thing isn't actually on the train. It's usually just like uh, a little stand and you just tag on. So yeah, don't forget to do that when you get off at the train stations as well. And yeah, another thing with trains is make sure that you're going in the right direction because usually there's two opposite ways. Um, so yeah, look at the board and look at the way, the final destination, it'll say like, um, heading that way or heading this way, like, you know, whatever destination that you're going. Um, um, yeah, because it's not like a metro where there's going to be another train every, you know, in three minutes, like, they usually run like every half an hour, so yeah, try and make sure that you're heading the right direction so you don't have to end up waiting, you know, like half an hour for the next train. Um, because you, you know, had yet to get off. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.